Over 95% of all telecommunications data is carried on optical fibre and the rates of data growth are very high. They're much higher than our ability to provide optical fibre capacity to carry that data. Therefore, it's hugely important to be able to maximise optical fibre capacity to satisfy the growing data demands. And LOC stands for unlocking the capacity of optical communications. The aims of the programme are to unlock that means maximise the optical fibre communications capacity. There are several techniques which we can use to maximise the use of the optical bandwidth available in the fibre. One such technique is uh, pre-coding, or we can use compensation techniques at the receiver to um, overcome noise sources uh, accumulated in transmission. The most exciting thing about working on Unlock is that we're facing challenges which have been facing scientists for over 40 years. If we overcome these problems, it will be transformative to optical communications. The information carried in today's optical networks is approaching the fundamental capacity of current transmission technologies. Therefore, we must develop new state-of-the-art transmitter and receiver subsystems combined with revolutionary uh, digital signal processing methodologies in order to increase the capacity of the nonlinear fiber optic channel. A comprehensive program of system experiments will be carried out in order to validate new methodologies which are defined throughout the Unlock program. The inherent trade-off between capacity and cost per bit will also be investigated within the Unlock program grant. One of the main strengths of the programme is that it's supported by 13 project partners. These are key industrial players in the field of telecommunications and service provision. They include carriers, equipment manufacturers, subsystem manufacturers and service providers. There are two main academic partners, UCL, the Optical Networks Group, and Aston University. At Aston University, we specialise in a few specific areas of optical communications. One of the areas of my research is on nonlinear amplification techniques, and we have test beds to allow us to develop new Raman amplification techniques that use nonlinear effects in optical fibres. One of our key strengths here at Aston University is in the theory and nonlinear modelling of systems. The group, led by Professor Sergei Churitsyn, are developing new techniques, new modulation techniques, and new nonlinear transmission techniques that will help us to achieve the aims of the project. Unlock is a major advantage for Aston Institute of Photonic Technologies as it allows us to bring in the uh, latest and greatest researchers in our field and work together under one roof. Working with UCL helps us to work with a wider range of people and a broader team with complementary uh, research skills. British Telecom, we're expecting the, the growth in bandwidth to continue at 30, 40, 50 percent a year like it has done for a long time and we think it's going to be fuelled by uh, very high bitrate TV services such as uh, 4K television where customers are going to need uh, many tens of megabits into their homes and when you scale this up into the core network it feels like many tens of terabits and the only way to unlock that kind of capacity is with projects such as this which are just going into the, the farthest reaches of what's possible in fibre. The unlock the programme is very exciting. It combines two teams full of exciting, committed and inspirational individuals working on a problem which potentially will transform the area of communications and the way optical communication systems are designed.